There are new updates on 3i Atlas. After the Hubble Space Telescope took a closer look at the interstellar visitor, it is now clear that a real-life Speedy Gonzales has entered the solar system. The bottom line is that this mysterious celestial body is nothing less than the fastest object ever observed in our home world. At the same time, Hubble also provided important new data on the size and activity of the chunk, but its exact origin remains a mystery. And so, speculation about the true background of 3i Atlas continues unabated. According to Avi Loeb, it is even possible that the interstellar object has its own light source, simply because we may be dealing with an extraterrestrial spacecraft powered by nuclear energy. But what does the rest of the research community say about this provocative thesis, and what reliable facts are now available about 3i Atlas? Stay tuned until the end and find out with us. 3i Atlas is only the third known object in the solar system that has an interstellar origin. And for astronomers, the research opportunities this presents are absolutely extraordinary. Due to the vast distances involved in space, they are usually only able to study celestial bodies that are close by, or in other words, those that are as close to Earth as possible. However, it's in the nature of things that these objects mostly originate from the solar system itself. And although our home world still hides countless secrets, the opportunity to study a celestial body whose roots are demonstrably not in the solar system is of immeasurable value to experts. Discovered on July 1st, 3i Atlas is racing through our planetary system on a hyperbolic trajectory and will reach its closest point to the Sun on October 29, 2025. Furthermore, initial observations have already revealed evidence of a shell and tail of ejected gases and dust, suggesting that our interstellar guest is a comet. And now, the Hubble Space Telescope has taken the sharpest images of 3i Atlas to date, providing scientists with a wealth of new insights. More specifically, the images show the object on July 21st, when it was about halfway between Jupiter and Mars, just under 450 million kilometers from our home planet. And to say that 3i Atlas is rushing along on its cosmic journey would be a gross understatement. Measurements have shown that the object is traveling at a speed of around 209,000 kilometers per hour. By comparison, the Earth orbits the Sun at only around 107,000 kilometers per hour. However, 3i Atlas is not only almost twice as fast as our home planet, it's also the fastest object ever observed in our planetary system. What the Hubble Telescope Has Discovered According to the team led by David Jewett from the University of California in Los Angeles, this insane speed suggests that 3i Atlas has repeatedly gained momentum in interstellar space through close passages near other stars or gas nebulae. This in turn supports the idea that the chunk is a true cosmic old-timer and was formed more than 7 billion years ago. Where 3i Atlas's journey began, however, remains a mystery and experts attribute this to its high speed on the one hand and the fact that we have only been able to observe it for a short time on the other. Against this backdrop, the object can be compared to a bullet racing past us in a thousandth of a second. Fortunately, however, it is not completely impossible to study this interstellar speedster. On the contrary, the Hubble images provide valuable new information about its size and activity. According to this, Hubble has measured the object's coma, among other things. This is the dust shell that is created by its approach to the sun and the associated heating. And here's a preview. The James Webb Telescope recently made a completely surprising discovery in that very coma. But more on that in a moment. The data collected by Hubble showed that the core hidden behind the dust veil is between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers in size. In contrast, the cores of the previous interstellar visitors Oumuamua and Tuai Borisov were only 0.1 and 0.4 kilometers in size. And although astronomers suspect that the true size of 3i Atlas is closer to the lower end of their estimates, it could still be the largest of the three objects. Apart from its size, the Hubble images also confirm that 3i Atlas is already active and shows comet-like outgassing. What it lacks, however, is the comet-like tail. 
While this usually presents itself as a narrow structure, Three-Eye Atlas has a broad, diffuse plume or fan. According to the researchers, however, this circumstance is consistent with the other characteristics of the chunk. A narrow, clearly defined tail is created by larger, slow-moving particles. Three-Eye Atlas, however, seems to eject large quantities of smaller particles. More precisely, it's likely to lose between 6 and 60 kilograms of dust per second. Added to this are the outgassing of water ice as well as carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide ice. But if you like, the coma is also a double-edged astronomical sword. While the gases released provide information about the interior of the interstellar visitor, they also envelop it in an impenetrable veil that makes it impossible to determine its exact shape. Therefore, Experts cannot tell from the data whether the shape of 3 eye atlas is elongated like Oumuamua or almost round like typical objects in the solar system. Webb has made an astonishing discovery. However, what experts can glean from the data collected by the James Webb Telescope is that the gas cloud surrounding the chunk contains a surprising amount of CO2. In fact, on August 6th, Webb collected detailed infrared data from the interstellar comet for the first time, focusing primarily on the coma, just like Hubble. And as mentioned, it contains unusually large amounts of carbon dioxide, and experts are putting forward various explanations for this. One is based on the fact that the comet's ice layers were exposed to significantly stronger radiation in its home region than the comets in the solar system. This contrasts with the approach that 3 i Atlas was born in the so-called CO2 ice line. That is, at a point in a young stellar environment where temperatures become so low that CO2 transitions from a gaseous to a solid state. If this were the case, 3 i Atlas would have absorbed an extraordinary amount of carbon dioxide ice from the outset. Ultimately, however, this was not the only surprise that the chunk had in store for experts. While the CO2 content of the coma is surprisingly high, the amount of water vapor is strikingly low. This suggests that the comet's internal structure prevents heat from penetrating deep into its core. And while this means that less water is released, it is easier for CO2 and carbon monoxide to escape. All in all, the unexpected ratio of CO2 to H2O could therefore provide clues not only about the object's region of origin, but also about the physical characteristics of its structure. However, future investigations will have to reveal exactly what is going on with this peculiar coma, and it will be worth it. The steep trajectory of 3 i Atlas suggests that it originates from the so-called thick disk of the Milky Way, an ancient region of our galaxy where stars formed much earlier than in the thin disk where the sun was born. In other words, the interstellar visitor is a witness to the early phase of the Milky Way and can provide us with important insights into the formation of our home system. Well, provided that it really is a comet at the end of the day, of course. But there are researchers who question precisely that. A spacecraft powered by nuclear energy? Anyone who wants to approach 3 i Atlas from a slightly different angle would be well advised to listen to the explanations of Harvard professor Avi Loeb. The astrophysicist had already made headlines after the discovery of Oumuamua when he put forward the theory that it could be an artificial solar sail from an extraterrestrial civilization. Unsurprisingly, Loeb's assessments in the case of 3 i Atlas now strike a very similar alien note. In detail, he points to a number of anomalies that should at least make the scientific community sit up and take notice. For example, there is the extremely unlikely trajectory that brings the object suspiciously close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Loeb is also puzzled by the incredibly high speed, as well as the fact that 3 i Atlas is coming from a different direction than its two interstellar predecessors. But that's not all. While Loeb regularly comments on 3 i Atlas on the Medium platform, he points out that the object may even have its own light source. Loeb writes that the simplest interpretation of the data is that the core of the object generates most of the light itself. But how could this be explained? Well, Loeb has an answer for that too. And he writes, quote, 3 i Atlas could be a spacecraft powered by nuclear energy. This cannot be ruled out, but better evidence is needed to make it plausible. 
To find out once and for all what this interstellar visitor really is, one could either send a message to it or send a probe to 3i Atlas to examine the object up close. Ultimately, however, Loeb's provocative statements remain clearly in the minority, and the generally accepted theory remains that 3i Atlas is a purely natural visitor. And if you're not yet a subscriber, you're welcome to change that now. Simply press the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss a new video from us again. See you soon.